It's the Opix Podcast, baby. Glad you tuned in. Got your host, thank me later, and you're stupid to win. Might become an obsession as soon as you begin. Start out king of the street, then lock it iconic in. Welcome to Offland. Grab your Opix, man. On your way in the door, hit you with four grand. Get to buying and gripping, then to selling and flipping. Over to moving and shocking. I'm Scrooge McDuckin' in Opix. Welcome, fellow Uplanders, to another exciting episode of the Epics Podcast. I'm your host, Too Stupid to Win, and as always, I'm joined by Thank You Later. How are we doing this evening? I am doing fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. A uh, lot of news to cover this week. We have uh, late breaking news, really, the last couple of hours is what Upland's doing to help support uh, the team over in the Ukraine. I uh, will jump into that. Detroit was released today, and that was not fun to say the least. And we'll cover what happened there and any experiences we had. We do have the market analysis for you. Top five floors, bottom five floors, heat maps. Got a new heat map for you. And best of all, we have Big Nick with us tonight. He'll be joining us here as a, as a special guest and doing an interview Uh pick his mind a little bit about his upland strategy and uh last week he was sitting as the number nine ranked overall player in upland with net worth so it would be good to uh talk to big nick and see see what insights he has and then anything else thank me later wants to talk about <laughs> thanks thanks for throwing me that bone <laughs> but this is episode 124 and the views information and opinions expressed on the Upix podcast are solely those of myself thank me later and any guests of the podcast and do not necessarily represent reflect those of upland me inc we're not employed by or provided insider information from the upland team nor are we financial advisors all discussions about properties to buy and sell are not financial advice please do your own research first and uh this is being recorded on March 3rd, 2022. How, how do we get to March already? Wait, did you say it's March? It what? is March. What? That's madness. Don't sue me, basketball people. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess that's what happens. We send you into a week at the office and you lose track of the months. Oh my gosh. I did not like returning to the... It was cool. I, I'm really glad I got to meet with my team. I haven't seen them um in years so that was cool but who driving into the office i'm really glad i work from home yeah haha <laughs> franklin we are not talking about the weather tonight so <laughs> <laughs> no but it is it is beautiful here in dallas stop it it's absolutely thank you for asking it's <laughs> great weather yes so Anyway, we, we got a lot to cover, so we'll jump right into it, and uh, we'll bring Big Nick on to the podcast with us. How you doing, guys? Good. How, how's things going for you? Looks like uh, you're trying to stay warm out there. Yeah, we're live from the garage, and it is uh, balmy, zero outside, and about uh, 45 inside, and uh, kids are asleep inside the main house, and so we're doing this from the garage. Uh, we really appreciate the sacrifices you're making for that. So uh, thank you for joining us um, and welcome to, to the here. podcast. How'd you find Upland? I was messing around with Axie Infinity. Didn't like it and stumbled upon it. And I'm not sure if that was through a, an ad. Uh, I think it was, but inadvertently. Uh, but after... Um, dissatisfaction with with axi right away okay what did you not like about that from what i remember it, it was over my head from uh 10 minutes in and i don't have a huge gamer background and i've been in crypto for oh, six seven years now um and i got reading about uh, uh play to earn games and DeFi blockchain games and it struck me as is something that wouldn't have long-term appeal to a mass market whereas upland would because of its generally friendlier user interface yeah so how long have you been playing upland for now actually i think yesterday was my one-year anniversary congrats congrats yep. happy anniversary yeah 
Nice. Um, so with that, uh, did you, when did you go all in with Upland? Slowly. It was, Slowly? I, I would say once Manhattan sold out, that was a big indicator to me. Um, I was somewhat disappointed with the Chicago release, but then had a lot of fun personally in Santa Clara. Uh, Kansas City was kind of a downer, but uh, gradually building up throughout the year, slowly. Um, there wasn't one moment where I put in, you know, a, a one single large sum of money at once. Um, but what really solidified my conviction, I'd say, is after uh, NFT NYC last November, and we saw that big uptick in new user growth in uh, Twitter followers uh, and daily average users when we came up to about 60,000 on the weekly. Uh, that really uh, was a big confidence builder for me. All right, good. Um, so which was, so what was, you did say you were in crypto. Is that your whole background? Were you a gamer? So, or what's your background? Professionally, um, are you asking like, what do I do uh, for fun or for a living? Ah, for fun, like you know, thank me later oh. was a was a gamer. You know, a lot of people early on in Upland were crypto background. You know, just sure. what was your interest that be you know coming sure. into it? I've always been interested in currencies. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I collected coins, and uh, throughout. You know, I had a, I had a, I played video games religiously since I was little. Love them. Um, never got uh, really into uh, first-person shooter games or um, too heavy into the online, um, the past games. I don't know how to say it, but I always liked strategy games, the slow games, turn-based games, and I love Monopoly. And so Upland was uh, just checked so many boxes for me all at once. If that helps. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so what keeps you playing each and every day? I think the community. It's a great community uh, with a common vision. And that is to, to grow your net worth and increase your monthly earnings and to have fun and to earn it's a play to earn game. And when you, or at least when I have the U S dollar sales, the whole thing comes to fruition. And it's awesome. And whether it's a, a $25 sale, a hundred dollar sale or, or a $500 sale, uh, it just makes you smile and it's real. So, um, that's what keeps me going every day is keeping an eye on it. And what do I want? What, uh, what do I expect from the game today? What do I want to make? Can I make it? Do I need to make it? So every day is its own personal in-game challenge. What do you want to do today? Today we did Detroit, kind of. Um, for, <laughs> me, for me, at least, it went rather well. And I, I was lucky to mint uh, four props on the Gold Coast and moved them all within um, three hours of release at uh, you know 50% margin. And that was a lot of fun. But uh, nice. that's what keeps me going is it's a different challenge every day. And it's a dynamic game with so many things coming. And it's exciting with all the new users, too, because it, you know, it, it can get crunchy at times, as you know, with, um, you know, a, a bunch of us know each other or, or each other circles to a degree. And the new players keep it fun because they're new. They're fresh. They're exciting. So I, I love that aspect of it, too, the social aspect. Yeah. And uh, right here, we're just taking a little quick look at your overall properties profile, you know, pretty heavy in Chicago, San Francisco, L.A., Santa Clara, you know, mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like today. So is that usually your strategy going into a new city release, uh, getting some properties in a prime location and flipping them quickly? Or do you make a strategy each city? With Detroit, 
I didn't really have much of a strategy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I came in, I, I knew approximately what I, what I wanted to spend because now as a shop owner, I got to maintain a lot of liquidity. Um, coming in, I, I looked at a couple things and I knew everyone was going to be downtown. Uh, I started looking at the neighborhoods adjacent to downtown and, and counting props and Gold Coast just stood out. So as soon as uh, the first one was minted, I got my, it took five cents to get there and get one mint. And then as the congestion really started to, to build, it seemed like for other users, I was able to get my mints in before we went into the maintenance period. So my expectation for Detroit was come in, see what you can flip. Don't be, you know, I wasn't, I didn't want to obsess over trying to get ultra rares or playing it too hard because this is a city that's by and large for the new players. And, um, I'm, I've never been a real big flipper, but, um, that gold coast neighborhood, they were right in my price range for what I wanted to spend, you know, two to 500 each. And, uh, I was able to uh, turn them. The one big one I got was the UAW headquarter right on the river. And I think that was, uh, 600,000, uh, up its mint. And I flipped that for 970. Um, and then two, I, I moved all four of them rather quickly. You know, Detroit, uh, I love Detroit, but it, for me, long term, uh, in a vanilla uh, release of a starter level city, it's not, um, I don't want to say it's not investment grade, but for where I'm at right now, um, I just want to have some props there uh, in case there is some sort of logistical angle to uh, moving uh, NFLPA legits or other NFTs. So I have to have some presence there, but I, I never plan to go real heavy in it. So I got nice central location in, in, in cultural center that I did hold. And that's, that's the short of how I played it. Didn't research it very much. Picked something right in the middle by the train station. Happy with it. Nice. nice. And you got a shop, you got an NFLPA legit shop that for secondary market, where's, where's your calling home base for that? 12 East 87th Manhattan, Upper East Side. It's actually in Carnegie, Carnegie Hill, right between uh, the Met and the Guggenheim. So it's a real sweet location. And I think we're going to have a lot of action there going forward as there's more Meta Ventures released, as the landmarks are uh, brought into Manhattan. It's just a real sweet location. Uh, got the apartment building fits near perfect on the, on the lot size. I have it. And you got the Guggenheim um, block to the north, and we got the Met a block and a half to the southwest. So there's going to be a lot of action there. Nice. Yeah. I like it. And then, uh, so you're working with the other shop explorers there, to, or the Logitics shop owners too, so you guys can set up and, and not bite into each other's territory initially? Well, I think there's going to be at least five others in Manhattan. And then uh, T M, I believe, is going to be in Rutherford. And from my angle, the more the better, because it's going to attract the customer from the central or western region and get them into New York if that's what they're looking for is NFLPA legits. And having more stores is better. And the competition is going to, it's going to take place no matter what. Right now, we're competing against Upland the game as they're still selling the 21 essentials in stadium shops. So until that uh, ends on June 29th or earlier, uh, I'm not too concerned about competition from other players because we're all fighting. I mean, we're all competing with Upland the game uh, in terms of sales for the 21 essentials. Yeah. Now, since you're limited on inventory in your shops, mm -hmm. have you thought, yes. are you going to be more of a high end shop, a, a little bit of a little bit of everything, or you're going to turn over a, a lower supply, like a lower quality cards or legits? So I went out on a right away and decided this got to be a diverse team effort. And I'm talking about diversity in terms of uh, player background. And I committed half of my 150 slots to players of diverse backgrounds. And what that's also going to do for me 
is uh, give me and the store diverse collections because I collect one way and another guy collects another and an international player collects another and we all collect Tom Brady, right? So <laughs> I have a diversity of sellers uh, and their collections. And when um, we do have some real high end ones that have signed on with ultra premium to sell in the store until the submerchant account function is up and running and up and said that's going to come in April, not with the store release, which has been delayed at least for this week when that's fine. But uh, it's going to be a lot of work managing 150 sales slots from a team of 20. So it's me plus 19 others. And from what I understand, talking to Bacchus for shop owners, namely at Lando, it's quite a process for uploading uh, a single item into the, into the store. And I think, I think you have a store too. So, you know, the process, right? Um, uh, we both have deep yeah. decor shops and yeah. they haven't launched and there doesn't seem like they're launching anytime soon because of the, the complexities there. Yeah. It's uh, having 150 items and having to manually transfer each NFT to me um, on a burner NFT in exchange and then list it and then keep track of it is going to be a lot of work for the first you know, three, four, five, six weeks until we get that submerged account feature. But what the value I'm bringing to it is to my seller partners is premium graphics, advertising, and maintaining liquidity to pay them out quickly as their items sell. And, and we've got a, a really interesting, fun team. Uh, and it seems like we're generating some velocity in our uh, server, in our chat, and there's a lot of excitement, but um, it's, it's time will tell. How do you value a 2020 memento right now without a spotlight or an autograph? You know, from my perspective, that's, uh, that's a tall order and I don't want to sell myself short and I don't want to sell my team members short, um, have them let go of something that could be exponentially more valuable, you know, in three months than it is today. Fair enough. You got questions for him? Thank me later. Um, no, I was in bed. <laughs> oh, feel a, a heavy weight place on the uh, NFLPA <laughs> legit sellers there. Uh, don't don't uh, disappoint your customers. So that'll be interesting. Um, no, that was a good. And uh, what kind of advice do you have for a new player just starting out in Upland? I'm not. I'm not a great advice giver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, here, here's one though. Get get multiple pieces of advice. Don't 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 listen to one um, one uh, circle of influence or one chat room or one server or one podcast. Seek out multiple uh, sources of information because. You know, you could be talking to somebody who's who's an excellent player and they may give you excellent advice, but it may not be uh, situational. There's uh, listen to other people, ask questions. That's that's what I would say to a new player. Uh, that That's pretty solid advice. You know, you don't want to get pigeonholed with one way of thinking or, you know, right. maybe what you're listening to turns you off from the game because that's not what you're looking for. Yeah. And then uh let's hear what do you have any predictions of when the next city's coming out or what that city oh. will be? Wow. <laughs> no idea. Um but what I guess you know they they alluded to an east coast expansion and I think what we'll see and another reason that I'm real big on Manhattan right now I think we're going to see an expansion along the Amtrak the seller route which goes from Boston to DC. It's natural. It fits in with um, NFL stadiums being along that route. Boston, Philly, uh, DC, you know, Baltimore in there too. I think that's natural. It makes the most sense. I, I would, you know, and, and you can tie in from Grand Central and Manhattan to, you know, 25 million people just from that train station right there. It's pretty cool. I, it's like, I don't see him doing Pittsburgh and, and Buffalo. I see that corridor 
that runs on the Amtrak out there on the high speed train. That's where I think they're going next. That does make a lot of sense. Yeah. I don't know why. I was thinking Miami, but uh, your explanation sounds way better and way more logical. <laughs> so, yeah, I like that. Boston, D.C. I would love D.C. That would be super cool. And we've seen D.C. on on uh, Series 1 uh, postcards. You know, that the that is in there. Got a good eye. Yeah. That is true, too. No. But... uh and then you've been in, you've been involved in some of these auctions for landmarks um no not really no you haven't Were no i'm not one? i don't i don't i tried to get uh i tried to get the shopping center okay um, and yeah uh, and abdullah got it or no yeah. i'm sorry uh with the ryman auditorium in nashville yep, the grand old opry yes i i, I did want that because i do have a nice nashville uh, collection and and I am a country. I, I I do like some old you know older country music and Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash up that alley. Um, but you know I'm sure Abdul will do something fun with it. <laughs> are are any of the three that they're going to be auctioning off tomorrow interest you at all? No, I'm right now. I'm focused on maintaining my my current level of liquidity in the game. Okay. I'm not looking for a, a, a major buy-in, but that being said, that um, the Sun Museum of Science and Industry on the South Side of Chicago, that's a Lakeshore Drive prop. That is an awesome place in real life. It's a huge prop. I think the Mint yeah. is just, just under 30 million upics on it. So uh, somebody's going to get something really special. And if uh, you do have Lakeshore Drive props, I'd be raising your prices on them right now. <laughs> absolutely i know what i'm doing tomorrow morning <laughs> there you go um yeah do you have any questions for us well what did you guys think of detroit minus the the technical difficulties oh well, well, well i didn't partake uh, yeah i i didn't partake so i have i have no no comment i was you? one of the ones that got hit with uh the technical difficulty right out of the gate and i was just watching Ouch. the map just light up so you see the last couple of releases i played from the desktop and i i kept getting blocked out i'd get on i'd, I'd get i'd make it to the prop and then somebody had to click faster and so i started playing with it uh versus the phone versus the ipad had the best results by far on the ipad so i played the release today from the ipad uh, the only issue I had was completing sends, but had no issue whatsoever completing purchases. So going forward, I'm going to be an iPad guy. Nice. I mean, even with my phone, I was on the phone and I was on a tablet and it was just, it, as soon as I'd click on anything, it was just spinny wheel and yeah. oops, sorry, we have a problem. Yeah. And when that happened, I, I uh, yeah, it, it, and it did happen on the iPad and I switched to the phone but then completed the purchase on the pad. Um, yeah. And I think that maybe that's some sailing advice for new players is have a uh, new releases where there's going to be that much traffic, have a backup in case, you know, you're not able to restart the app, have a, have a second device ready. And I know it's not an option for everyone, but you know, saved my day. Yeah. Nice. Well, Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, good luck on your legit store and uh, good luck as the game continues to grow. And uh, yeah, don't be a stranger to the podcast either. Thank you for the opportunity to the interview guys. I wish you the best. Thanks big Nick. Adios. Take care fellas. Cheers. Have a good one. Same to you. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, that's Big Nick. Definitely check out his legit shop out uh, in Manhattan when those start popping up here shortly. So excited to see what he's got going on there. And on to the top five city floors. Uh, once again, we're, we're seeing the market just drop. Uh, as, you know, just earlier this year, late last year, Manhattan was pushing 250,000 UPEX. And now we're down under 120,000 UPEX. Yeah, just call it 120,000. But the floor came down on the cash. I think some of this market was drove down by this Marble Hill competition of people just wanted to ensure that they got a sale or they were making sure other people got a decent deal on a sale. Yeah. 
I think that's fair. But so, I mean, there's definitely, I mean, the, the market has continued to, to slow down. Um, you know, I, I hate to see it happen in Manhattan, but I mean, it was bound to. The, the prices there were just so high. Yeah, it was way, way out of balance with the other ones. And, you know, I do get the argument that it's a smaller total property count, but it, but still it should be, it's not always proportional, but yeah, it shouldn't have just been that far out. Um, but the bright side is Stanton Island's U.S. dollar floor rose by 10% this week. Get it, Staten Island. Uh, and said not financial advice, but San Francisco USD at sixteen sixty nine. That's a steal. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's insane. That's awesome. That's a steal. And Rutherford continues to hold steady. You know, it's only over the last um, few weeks, it's only dropped like six thousand upex. So it's been the most stable market. Now it's one of your smaller markets, but still, it, it's maintained. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We know uh, some big players out there for sure. Oh, yeah. Just gobbling them up and creating the market. Um, yeah. Bottom five, Nashville. I I don't know. <laughs> it, it just started tanking. And it wasn't like there was only one Nashville property that was that cheap. There were a lot. I, I just double checked to see, you know, as you said, somebody was – messing with us you know yeah. just hey i'm really gonna tank it and no it, it was multiple properties yeah holy cow yeah that's that's insane nashville get it together bro four thousand you can't yeah. even mint anything like detroit's laughing at you you like get it together nashville Yeah, that's uh, yeah, it, it was uh, and then uh, Los Angeles, <clears throat> Chicago, Bakersfield, and New Orleans, um, big big adjustments, and once again, I think it was still with the whole uh, Marble Hill. Um, well, and I think that people are still, on. you know, they're trying to get liquid now for Detroit, just like L.A., and people are still trying to lick their wounds from L.A. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I. Them. everyone's getting a little skittish they're making sure that they get enough upex for the next thing that's coming it's understandable oh yeah so I, I was shocked to see the drop this week but we'll see how it recovers I, I think it's to a recovery next week um i don't know how much of a recovery and, and we'll see how they swap in and out too yeah so the heat maps los angeles continues to uh Continues. Do, do, do anything? What oh, yeah. Well, this oh, okay. what you're looking at on the on the left is the uh is the overall with your FSA properties. The one on the right is without the FSA properties. Um yeah, and then it. if we compare it to last week, as you can see, these are both uh non FSAs. Um it continues to yeah. Sell slowly. Yeah, it's it's definitely slowed down. It's it's really interesting, kind of the one-two punch that launching Los Angeles, uh, a really big tier one city that sucked up a lot of the juices uh, from the whales in the game, and then uh, followed it up very quickly with a tier three city um, that's designed for new players. But the I feel like a lot of the whales just felt disincentivized to go to Detroit. So it really gives more people a chance to get in, which is kind of cool. Um, so I, I'm liking where the economy is at right now, honestly. And that was something I thought about after we did our special for the Detroit release is any of the NFL cities should not be a tier three city. It might, it's just my opinion, you know, tier two, I can see tier two NFL <laughs> cities, but but, you know, should there really be a tier three? And if you got an international airport, really, should you also have an airport in the game? Yeah, no, I feel you. And honestly, I feel a little bad for Detroit. I love I actually really love uh, Detroit as a city. Uh, and so the fact that they got tier three, it kind of hurts. Like, 
even Cleveland didn't get tier three. So right. I mean, and and that was one of my thoughts. I mean, there's more properties in Cleveland. There's, you know, just as rich a history, if not more history. Um, there, there's more history more in Detroit. History. Yeah, definitely yeah. more history in Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought about it later. But so we do have Detroit heat maps out already. And, yeah. Uh, no, I love is this from uh Steve from is, is he from uh the uh, Assassins? Steve is I got to see if he's in the Assassins, but he does have the Upland Maps Discord oh, Upland channel. Maps. Oh, Steve from Upland Maps. You're a legend, mate. Yeah. But as you can see, you know, just like we talked, going along the river, the waterfront properties were going to sell out pretty quick. Downtown Greek Town, um, yeah. all right through the center. Uh, and then uh, that historic Addison, Addison or whatever, you know, we talked about on Sunday. That yeah. sold pretty quick. Um, there was actually another strip, something Virginia, and that sold pretty quick, too. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. We did talk about that. Oh, I, I totally forgot yeah. to go check that out. And I was surprised that I looked ahead of time and it wasn't all FSA. I was surprised with the amount. It, it was a fair balance where you could get in a mint. Um, Dang. Yeah. Well, now, this is this is with the FSA. When you turn off the FSA. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty insane. Um, I mean, it's to be expected. Honestly, can you imagine if they had launched Detroit before? LA like this map would be oh. <laughs> like there would be nothing um scorched earth on Detroit so no I mean this is good I mean it's again it's a starter city like it's not meant to to house the greatest powers of all all mankind like uh, veterans really you know get what you want try to get some ultra try and get some collections uh get some space whatever but I don't know. Let the new let the new kids have it. Yeah, I, I'm good with that. Uh, so I, I see the non FSA is moving pretty quick here in Detroit. Um, yeah, yeah. So overall, uh, I, I did get a chance to log in for the launch. Um, I wasn't there for the first two stress tests, but it went rather well. You know, they said, hey, in five minutes, we're releasing Fox Creek and they released it. Everything went smooth. And then they said, hey, in five minutes, we're going to release uh, Greenfield or Greenville, whatever, whatever that was. And that went smooth. They're like, hey, in five minutes, we're going to release the rest of Detroit. I'm like, wow, you know, it, it's going really smooth. So I started watching the properties and I wanted to go downtown and Greek town areas, see if I could snag a property or two. And I went to hit the send and it just started to go with the wheel. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And I'm just watching Greek town light up, light up, light up. Um, and, uh, new kids on the block. (laughs) Thanks for distracting me. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but yeah, I, I was just sitting there watching this wheel spin as Greek Town just minted out below me. And then yeah. I'm like, all right. So I moved to downtown. I selected a property and then the same thing happened. And in the meantime, I'm switching between a phone and a tablet, phone and a tablet. And mm. Going on Wi-Fi, have one on Wi-Fi, have one on the cellular network. And it, and it just didn't go too well for me. And then downtown was minted just like that. Yeah, damn. That's a, that's a real shame, man. You've had you've had a couple. I feel like every other launch, you kind of get you struggle. Yeah, thanks, Dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tiny violin. Oh, so, yeah. so at that point, I gave up, and I was like, <laughs> "I'm done." <laughs> I gave up. I shut it down. Uh, but you know, they they did say they did put out a mess, and then about eleven forty six Eastern time, they went into maintenance because there was just a lot of lag and a lot of people um, a lot of people were having the same issues and good luck to the people congratulations to the people that got the stuff so yeah and then I know the FSA buyers were in high demand for eight mile so 
Eminem really made some addresses popular in Detroit that people were chasing after. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Now they they did say that um they're still looking into what went wrong, but it seems like the EOS node experienced a high volume of pending transactions that resulted in syncing issues with the blockchain. Um, they're not sure if that was general conditions on the mainnet or if it was something with their node. Uh, it looks more like a mainnet type thing at the time. They're still looking into it, but they'll get back to us. Um, now, th- that does stink. You know, it's a tier three. You're looking to get new players in the game and they might have a bad experience and yeah. walk away from it. But I, I mean, did it come back after the five minutes? Like, if it just went down for like five minutes, uh, it was down for it was down for a while before they finally brought it back up. Okay, but like uh, when it came back up, like was it just like one like ah we too much, and then they brought it back up and it was good. Yeah, they brought it back up and it was good. So it was down about an hour. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's that's not an ideal situation, but in all honesty, like. It's not the worst. No. But there were some good deals. And as Franklin said, that there were, um, there's a lot of FSA for 500 FX. That's so cool. I mean, that, that allows a new player to buy, you know, five to nine properties pretty easily, like right away. Like that's a good feeling. Like that feels like you have options. Yeah, it's not like getting it dumped in Clovis. You, you know, you've heard of yeah. you've heard of Detroit. You know, I'm I'm taking your line, but you know, yeah. you, you've heard of Detroit. So, oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> nothing feels worse than getting stuck in Clovis. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see here. I got that set up. So, something I did find interesting is. We look over here. Here's Greek Town. Here's the wonderful Greek Town Casino, and it's already up for sale, so it can be yours too for four million dollars or four million up X. Yeah, I don't know what he what they minted it for, but um, way less than that. I, I looked at <laughs> it and it was decent. <laughs> now, if you come right across downtown, here's the MGM Grand Detroit. Okay. It's not released. Okay. So could it be a landmark? Do they have a partnership coming up with the MGM Grand and we can bet on street racing once the cars roll out? Dang. I don't know. Why why would you let one casino be minted and you got the other one on lock? Uh Uh-oh. Big brains coming in. Watch out. Partnership partnership with MGM and they got stuff in Vegas. So you could be working at some corporate sponsorship there. Oh, I feel like you're digging a little bit at this point, but <laughs> I, like, I like where your head's at. I, I do think with uh gambling or betting, you know, it, it runs into regulations and KYC, but more and more States are allowing online gambling. So, I mean, if you want to have a, have a fun, fun metaverse, you got to have some gambling going on. I, I suppose I played p- plenty of games that didn't have gambling that were fun though, but sure. <laughs> whatever, whatever floats your boat. Look, I'm trying to, trying to help the people that get that gambling itch. Yeah. Oh, everyone in chat is saying that, uh, is it's over 10,000. So click it. And I think that's probably it. What's over 10,000. The, the property size. Click the property again. Yeah. It's over 10,000 up squares. Yeah. Well, that's why it's not being sold. I don't think they're selling anything over 10 that big. Yeah. But all those massive properties are locked. Yeah. I, I still like my theory that they're going to do a partnership with MGM Grand and <laughs> you can gamble. Sure. Stick, absolutely. Sticking to it. All right. I like it. Sticking to it. Bye, big. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> he's gone. Yeah. He's gone from backstage. Yeah. Um, now, have you been participating in this week on the Marble Hill? You know what? I actually did. Yep, I did. 
I got sucked into it. I'm so excited. Um, I got sucked into it too, and I have not traveled this much in Upland like ever. Right. Because I was in LA. I said, well, let me go to San Francisco and I can get a bunch of sends. Then I went over to KC to mint a property because I didn't have anything really in KC. So I went over there and minted a property, went back to San Francisco to treasure hunt. Then I went to Chicago and that, but then by the time I got back on and this and got out of the airport, everything at the train terminal was sold out. So then I flew down to Nashville and then I caught the train to Detroit. So I've been all over the place and then come to find out that we are no longer doing random drawings for the Marble Hill properties. Yeah. Do we have, do you have that? I mean, I don't want to put you on the spot. Do you have the yeah. announcement or no? Yeah, I do. Yeah, oh, I'll, share, nice. I'll share that screen too. Um, so how do you feel about, I, I understand that, we're doing it for a good cause. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah. But how do you overall feel that, hey, we announced something, you did something for most of the week, and then it's like rug pulled the day before the, before the last day? Yeah. So I definitely feel some kind of way about it because, again, I did. I actually did take the time to fill out the Google form to, you know, travel back to San Francisco to do an Upland one. Uh, to go and travel, like I to participate oh. actively. What? what you Guess what? You know, I I got some comments in Discord, and then if you read the article, these are different than the original fifty promised in the hidden gems contest. So we're okay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're, you're actually the worst. I am. You you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're about to sit here and trash Upland because you don't know how to read. Get out of here. <laughs> Look, it's not What's all that? on me. I mean, you can read too. You could have. You know <laughs> damn well I can't read. <laughs> how dare you say such <sighs> thing? That's all right. It's right there on the screen for everybody to read. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and, and we're hearing it from. <laughs> <laughs> Our viewers. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got to have one of those two. Yeah, man. where's D Davis when you need him? Calling the pros. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway, still. All right. So, there's no rug pull going on in disregard the last uh, couple oh. minutes of audio there. Jeez, old Pete's. Yeah, as always, do your own research. Don't <laughs> stop doing the competition because some flaming turd told you that uh, that didn't matter anymore. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. Ah, <sighs> uh, hey, it, it happens from time to time. So, anyway, if you're doing the Mar Marble Hill, that's good. Uh, making sure I'm getting all my entries to it and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back and redo them real quick, make sure I did them. Yeah, you, you got a property today, though, right? You... Uh, Yeah, so I bought a property. Yeah. Is yeah, yeah, pot, I did. Pot or so. Yeah, I bought it. Yeah. All right. Do you, do you have that uh, that picture I texted with the sound? Out of context, this is about to sound real dirty. Do you, do you have <laughs> that picture I sent you last night? But... Um. <laughs> I don't have it up. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can. Uh, uh, you're killing me. Oh my gosh. No, no, you don't <laughs> have to. You don't have to bring it up. We don't have, like, go back to your your Ukrainian your cranian piece. We can. I don't have. Yeah. But definitely let's. We'll do the Ukrainian priest and then we'll go on about that picture. All right. So, big thing is. Starting Friday, March 4th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, they're doing the series of block explorers. So there's another block explorer for the co collection. Only 3,000. I think those will go pretty quick, and I'll probably have to wait six days before I can purchase because everybody's signing up. 3,000 is a lot, though. I, I feel like that's a generous... Uh, when does that registration start? Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, morning, 6 a.m. Okay. Pacific. And then... Uh... 
wait, sales start, registration start, sales start. Yeah, it's only a two hour registration this time around. Oh, wow. Well, again, it's 3000. So I think if you pre register, like you're probably could get one the way that that's structured seems like that would be the case. Yeah. Wait, what? What is that city can say it for the audience? What city? Oh, the dude, really? Don't that's mean. Go back up. What's the name of the city? I didn't even look at it. Let's see. Let's see. Franklin, you're if if we get canceled because of some nonsense. Uh my cloaca? Is that no? My clo my cola co well that's all folks. Jeez. How would you say that? I don't know. I don't. I don't speak. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I'm not even attempting it, yeah. and I haven't watched the news. I've just read everything on it. I just haven't had the time, and we're losing viewers as we <laughs> as we spiral out of control. <laughs> Something you might like, though. Once again, it's a 6 a.m. registration Pacific time, uh, so that's 8 a.m. your time. So you'll be headed into the um, office, but. You have another ornament for your buildings. Only 300 yeah. for those. Only 300 of them. Well, and this might be the first decoration that isn't season bound. Yes. Right? So that's super interesting. Um, and I am very, very interested <laughs> in this. So is this also the same time, Friday, tomorrow morning? Same time. Yep. All right. Same time. Then they have uh, the property sales. And they have it starting. So it's a two-hour registration. And then they have it in groups. Okay. And then they progressively get more expensive as the groups go up. Okay. And then the landmark auctions. And all these proceeds are going to help over there with the struggles in the Ukraine. Um, the Cleveland Museum of Art, that's a pretty awesome museum. Go there a couple times a year. Definitely a great place to go. Reverse auction starting price, uh, 10.12 million UPEX. I Are you going to get in on that? I don't have 10.12 million UPEX. <laughs> and uh, after the Cavs game the other night, we've been talking season or half game or half season tickets to the Cavs. So if I had 10, 10 grand, it would be like seats that I had the other night. <laughs> yeah. You had great seats the other night, man. I was jealous for sure. Yeah. The kids enjoyed it. Yeah. I don't even like sports ball, but that looked fun. It was, it was a real good time. Um, then a, after that, they do have the Hermitage hotel in Nashville, Tennessee, and that one's going up for 12.8 million up X. Wow. And then finally, they have the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. That's super and that's going up for twenty eight point six million upex. And as Big Nick said, it's over in the Lakeshore, Gold Coast area. So, yeah, I wonder. I wonder if that's the place. Is that Kosai? Is that someplace else? Maybe that wasn't in Chicago. That's someplace else. The Museum of Science and Industry is pretty like it's amazing it takes yeah. you a couple of days to go through it man that sounds i love museums like that that would be not just because of how much it's co it costs but that would be the one i would want that's that sounds super cool oh yeah absolutely so a lot of good things going on tomorrow hopefully ooh, i i think everything should sell out pretty quickly and uh help with the relief efforts and you know there's there's a lot of a lot of information out about it so yeah do your part and i will buy what i can when i can sure. and i've been still buying those dogs i i can't stop buying them but people <laughs> gotta stop. They, they gotta stop putting them on such a discount when you're getting them for 49 percent off of original mint and I got a whole spreadsheet. It's it's horrible. I really nerded out. I'm like, oh look, this composite rankings here and the aesthetics of that. It's just bad. I got to stop. Somebody just needs to come confiscate. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so bad. 
<laughs> together, man. This is not top shots. I'm sorry. DDG is super cool, and I'm looking forward to their stuff, but this ain't top shots level. You need to calm it down. Look, but they're hundred. They're like a hundred and five dollars, hundred and ten dollars a pop, and <laughs> I can't that's, stop. That's like a you know one day's school tuition every time. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Yeah. I, I like that idea there. They should also offer a badge for a cash donation. That would get you oh, all over that one. Oh, yeah. You'd have my money for sure. Yeah, they did that for the climate change one, eh? That was nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like that. Yeah. So we did wrap that one up pretty quick. I thought it was going to go longer. Crushing it. Crashing it. Yeah. Wait, do we want to discuss? You don't have the thing from the phone. I don't have the thing from the phone, but oh, yes. Man. Do you want to talk Hold about on. it or should we talk yeah. about it? Or we, yeah, we should talk. Absolutely. Are we allowed to talk about it? Oh yeah. We got to We got to speculate. Hold on. Let me get back to. Oh, you, you got, you're going to pull you. Can you pull them up in game? Yeah, I can pull it up in game. Oh, right you guys, if you haven't seen this. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready to have your minds blown. I think you're giving them false hope with minds blown. But. Okay. Okay. Prepare to be mildly interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this there is not going to do it. You're not going to just. Oh, dang. Wait, there's a. Oh, no. Is this a landmark? Yeah. Dang. How much of those properties around it? That's what I was doing the other day. Uh, a couple million up X. I, I was looking. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, this was discovered by some uh, some sleuths, some sleuths the other day. Um, don't know anything about it. It's Upland Bureau. It's got the verified badge. So we know it's something they, I'm pretty sure someone was showing the transactions and it was like a simultaneous mint. <laughs> of just all these things are like very quick mints of uh, all these properties kind of all around. So very, and a couple of them were a couple of them were rare properties. And as you can see this one here in New York city's historic NYC and it's uh and a landmark in itself. Um, yeah. Yeah. So really interesting. Makes you think like, what is it? Um, what are they going to be used for? I, I did some street views. There was um, one was a YMCA, I think. I think there were, and the one was like a public affairs office. So it could be anything. I'm not sure. It, and that's the weird thing is there's nothing in San Francisco. Well, there's nothing to mint in San Francisco, but there's still locked properties in San Francisco. But I'm not sure what locked properties they are. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, hey. Welcome, Fabian. Very cool. So this, I mean, Bureau, Upland Bureau, what can they do with this? Licenses or driver's licenses, land management? Yeah. A you, 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 couple things, because like there's a bunch in Oakland. So could it be how they start doing some sort of business or um yeah i i don't know i'm really stumped because it's not consistent with like so if you pull up the 21 properties like you said there's nothing in san francisco um and i feel like the distribution of properties is just really weird there's like three or four in oakland um yeah it's kind of small for me but like the, you know, it's kind of a weird mix. Um, I don't even know if every single city is included there. Obviously, San Francisco is not. Um, I haven't gone through the rest. Like, is there a Rutherford? Oh, there is right there, isn't it? Or no? Yeah. Hold on. I'll go back to it. I should have pulled yeah. it up on Upex Land. So yeah, I mean, I, I think it's interesting. I have no idea what it could mean. Um, it's again it's such a bizarre mix of properties they're they're not consistent in size or 
general location or seemingly uh, you know the type of building it is but yeah yeah you can't make a correlation so for our people listening to us on the podcast and not watching us on youtube it is 52 chamber street in manhattan new york if you want to go look at it it's itself yourself not, not itself could be their selves don't you don't know that's true thank you their selves thank you yeah. for keeping me honest <laughs> nice um so a lot more coming to the game and you gonna buy anything in detroit um honestly it'll probably be secondary market um i'll, I'll buy some secondary fsa stuff uh not really i mean if there's still some like weird i just don't have any upex if i had upex right now i probably would <laughs> i'm just broke <laughs> yeah, yeah that makes sense yeah um yes and then uh we have if you didn't catch it for the new players we did do a fsa video for new players and we're continuing to work on these short videos we're looking to hopefully uh record another one this weekend get that out um continue to make sure that if you're listening to the podcast go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're watching us on youtube go ahead and uh Download us on the podcast and same with Twitch. Make sure you follow us on Twitch and follow us on Twitter. You have anything else before we get out of here this week? Uh, no, for those uh, who are following the uh, Upland Wiki saga, we are still in alpha. We actually ran into some snags with the host of the current wiki. So I'm going to be making some changes that to this weekend. So hopefully it's not too big of a delay. Um, if you want to be an alpha tester for our Upland Wiki, please uh, DM me on Discord. There you go. Awesome. And until then, everybody be safe and talk to you next week. It's the Opix Podcast, baby. Glad you tuned in. Got your host, thank me later, and you're stupid to win. Might become an obsession as soon as you begin. Start out king of the street, then lock it iconic in. Welcome to Offland. Grab your Opix, man. On your way in the door, hit you with four grand. Get to buying and gripping, then to selling and flipping. Over to moving and shocking, I'm screwed for ducking in Opix.